Hello, I'm Tino Evans in for Damian Mitchell. Flooded roads, hours of gridlock, and being stranded at bus stops were some of the horrors many persons experienced in the corporate era. Local government minister Desmond McKenzie said the situation was compounded by the numerous roadworks on the way in sections of the corporate area and the impatience of motorists. With lawmakers failing for more than four decades to implement proposed changes to legislation that outlaws abortion in Jamaica, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton has suggested that legislators dust off a 10-year-old report commissioned by the Health Ministry and use it to chart the way forward. Chairman of the Infrastructure and Physical Development Committee, Mikhail Phillips, defended Everett Warmington regarding questions about operations of the National Works Agency, NWA, for which he has ministerial oversight. This was after St. Andrew West MP Anthony Hilton, also a member of the opposition, questioned the appropriateness of Warmington's presence in the meeting. Overseas, this morning, the U.S. Secret Service says agents had intercepted packages containing pipe bombs addressed to former President Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, several other top political figures, and the CNN offices in Manhattan, New York. U.S. President Donald Trump vowed that the full weight of the government is being deployed to conduct the investigation into the discoveries. In sports, North Street rivals St. George's College and Kingston College battled to a nil-all draw in their Issa Digicel Manning Cup clash at the Stadium East Field this afternoon. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $130.42, the British pound sterling for $170.42, and the Canadian dollar for $98.72. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be mainly sunny. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Tino Evans.